My name is Jamie Freitas. I teach third grade at Holloman School in Warwick, Rhode Island. We have a variety of uh, students from students with IEPs, 504s, and multiple language learners. I believe that science really helps to level the playing field for everybody. One of the challenges I can foresee my students having in heading into um, a pathway in science would probably be availability. I'm really understanding what paths that they can take, choices that are available to them, and not just thinking that um, to be an engineer, you have to be a master at science and math. There are other strengths um, that also feed into it, and just being a good problem solver and wanting to work on problems and being able to fix things is exactly what um, scientists do. GEMSET provides us with resources where we are able to connect real-world jobs and fields to the future from our classroom experiences. My name is Sarah Sweetman, and I am a professor in the Feinstein College of Education here at the University of Rhode Island, and I'm a co-director of the GEMSNET project. Guiding Education in Math and Science Network is a research practice partnership that brings together expertise across the teachers and administrators in 13 school districts with community partners that work in non-formal education settings such as the zoo and aquarium and also with university researchers and educators here at the university. Our goal is that we are developing a comprehensive support system so that students have access to quality science education and that they can have choice in their pathways and their future um, to be able to live well in the 21st century. At the same time that we were already aware of that push from the education side to support students in connecting the work that they're doing in the classroom with college and career pathways. The College of Engineering came to us with the Navy STEM Coalition and they had a similar problem uh, from another perspective that they really were interested in partnering with educators for outreach, for sharing their work and getting it out there and also really voiced again that need for workforce development in STEM industries. We are really working on that problem of practice from both sides that's going to meet the needs of the researchers in engineering and also the educators. Behind the scenes, the GEMSNET staff, our teachers and residents, uh, we're working here at the university with the engineers and coming up with these video clips and these opportunities for teachers to work in the classroom. So hello young scientists and engineers. One thing that we found with the videos that we've done with the researchers is it allows a two-way conversation between the researcher and the students in the classroom. What system have you been investigating in class involving motion? What are some systems that we've talked about? Yep. It's not really feasible to have a researcher visit every classroom in the area. So with these videos, we're able to have a discussion. Come and check. Uh, what we are working on in our robotics lab. And then ultimately, though, the goal, of course, is that the teachers feel supported and are prepared to go back and implement that in their classroom. There is a different energy in a classroom when I walk in um, and students are engaged in, in science activities. It's, it's a definitely different type of environment in the classroom. It's definitely real world and authentic. She's terminal. Literally. As part of the professional development that we've done with URI, um, I was able to go and visit the actual engineering classroom, see what they are doing in their field, meeting some grad students and talking with them and seeing what it was that sparked their interest to move into that field. And now I feel like I'm able to bring that to my class and share with them, you know, when they're building something, you know, this might, this is an, what engineers do, figuring out a problem, or we have, we're talking about, you know, clothing design, that, you know, there are engineers who, actually design clothing, you know, fabric that's waterproof or that has to, you know, absorb sweat or can keep you warm depending on where you are. GEMSNET is incredibly masterful at creating a culture of positivity and um, curiosity. And that's for teachers. Um, and it also extends to students. It is a true partnership and collaboration. As the University of Rhode Island, we're here, we, we live here. Our kids go to school here. We are part of the fabric of the community and we have trusting relationships that have sustained for many, many years. You know, a lot of people say that educational change uh, doesn't happen and, and we actually see it happening and it happens because of that joint work together and that shared expertise.